Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good can, evening, Tisha. Can you listen Hello. to me? Can you listen to me clearly? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, uh, I'm really happy to see you in this class. This is a basic English uh, module number three, right? Is that right? Yes. Right. That's right. Yes. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, I'm really happy and anxious to start with the with the course, right? So in um, I will introduce myself in a couple of minutes, and um, we're going to start our our classes tonight. You know, sixty minutes, right? Nonstop in English. So, but uh, it's my pleasure uh, to see you here, and to see that you want to learn. English as a second language. So welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody. Don't worry because uh, little by little we're going to meet each other, okay? I can see some of you, like, you are gonna introduce yourself in a minute, okay? So you say your name, you will say hello to everybody, okay? So you say my name, Enrique Morales, my pleasure, okay, it's, it's a, I'm really happy to meet you, okay? Can you tell me your names? My name is Rosa Argueta, is Rosa Argueta. All right, Rosa Argueta. Who else? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Jenny Martinez. Hello, Jenny. My name is Jansky Escalante. Okay, Jancy. Hello, hello. Hello. My, my name is Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Alex Belloso. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. Hey, good evening. My name is Ana Garcia. Welcome, Ana Garcia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Anybody else wants to say uh, his or her name? Hi, my name is Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Welcome. <clears throat> okay, who's missing? I want to listen to your voice. Good evening. My name is Ana Guevara. Hello, Ana. Welcome to the course. <coughs> Anybody Hello. else? My name is Daniela Martinez. Hello, Daniela. Nice to meet you. Who else? Who else? Who else? Anybody else? I can see people who haven't said uh, his or her names. Well, I will start just right now. Okay, now welcome, as I told you before, it's a pleasure to meet you and I'm happy to see you over here. I will start by sharing some information that's quite important to uh, keep into account during the course. I hope you can see the information here so, because uh, we're gonna talk a little about it, okay? Oops, sorry. Well, uh, as you know, this is the basic level of English, module number three. Can you see the information, people? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. So the teacher in charge of the course is myself. And my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales. You can call me uh, Mr. Morales, Mr. Enrique Morales, or <clears throat> teacher Kike will be all right. There's no any problem. <clears throat> Today is the 21st, okay, and we're going to see some information that I consider quite important, okay? I will switch into Spanish for a while, and then we're going to start with the class. Okay, bienvenido, bienvenidas, es un placer conocerles. 
Uh, me voy a pasar un ratito al español para es, dar algunas indicaciones que yo creo pues ya las han observado en anteriores eh, ocasiones, pero es bueno recordarlo. ¿Ok? ¿Pueden todos visualizar la información? Yes. yes. Excelente. <coughs> Pretty good. Como ustedes saben, es necesario obtener un 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones. Estas evaluaciones pues, se encuentran en la plataforma. Ustedes pueden trabajar <coughs> dichas actividades, dichas evaluaciones durante, antes, durante o después de la sesión de clases. Lo importante que ustedes se mantengan conectados con las actividades que ahí se presentan. Alguien podría decir, bueno, yo la voy a desarrollar antes para cuando el teacher esté en la clase, pues eso me va a servir para aclarar dudas o para, para eh, pronunciar mejor o para este, reafirmar lo que yo, yo ya he estado estudiando eh, por adelantado. Todas las tareas de los temas eh, tienen que estar completas antes de cada jueves. ¿okay? Los jueves para nosotros es importante que ustedes eh, hayan culminado con las actividades de la semana. Las clases, como saben, van de lunes a jueves. La fecha límite para terminar, hay un examen, ¿verdad? Un examen de a medio curso. Eh, y dicho examen, pues, debería estar completado a más tardar el día miércoles 6 de septiembre. También tenemos un examen final. Eh, cuya fecha para haberse desarrollado eh, considero que es el 20 de septiembre antes de la medianoche. ¿Okay? Hay un manual que ustedes pueden descargar, que está ahí en la plataforma, es muy útil y muy necesario. Hay algunos requerimientos que nosotros solicitamos que ustedes puedan cumplir durante las sesiones, en donde eh, coloquen su nombre completo cuando estén conectados, en caso tengan alguna dificultad eh, técnica que, que in, incluyan la palabra oyente o listener para que nosotros sepamos de que ustedes eh, por algún motivo no tienen habilitado su micrófono y es, no pueden interactuar con él. La cámara solicitamos que esté siempre activa durante las sesiones hay que tratar de minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más lo, en la medida que sea posible y siempre recordemos participar activamente en la clase. Recordemos que solo son 60 minutos y los 60 minutos se van muy, muy rápidos. Importantísimo, 100% de su asistencia a las sesiones, cumplir con los 60 minutos que se generan durante la sesión su asistencia se tomará en dos ocasiones. Eh, eh, al escuchar pues, su nombre, por favor, hacérnoslo saber que usted está activo a través de la expresión presente, I'm here, uh, present teacher, hello teacher, eh, etc. Eh, pues se darán algunos minutitos para que ustedes, pues, pregunten algo para aclarar dudas eh, durante la sesión, ¿ok? Y algo que pues considero es también necesario mencionar es que no, no, conta, no contamos con permiso, ¿ok? Solo tenemos prácticamente una hora diaria y hay que sacar ventaja de la misma. Recordemos algunas herramientas que tenemos en, nuestros, en nuestra cuenta de Zoom. Hay un botón de silencio, hay una cámara que ya dijimos debe estar activada, hay un chat, contamos con un chat en donde podemos interactuar, contamos con um, actividades por separado en grupos, eh, uh, pueden levantar su mano para pedir uh, ayuda y sobre todo hay algo que no debemos olvidar que es el respeto. ¿Okay? Alguien se pudiese equivocar y es de total normalidad que nos equivoquemos, ¿ok? Uh, las semanas van de la siguiente manera. Semana 1, vamos a tratar de completar la sec sección 1 y sección 2. La semana va del 28 al 31 de agosto. Semana 2, 
del 4 al 7 de septiembre e incluye la sección 3 y el midterm, que es el examen de medio curso. Del 11 al 14 estaríamos completando la sección 4 y del 18 al 21 estaríamos completando la sección 5 y un examen final. En este curso tenemos actividades eh, de escuchar, de hablar, de leer y de escribir. Actividades individuales, actividades en pareja y actividades grupales. Esa prácticamente es el, la introducción al curso, a grosso modo, del módulo 3. Así que bienvenidos y bienvenidas a todos y a todas. ¿Hay alguna pregunta antes de iniciar con la sesión? Voy a pasar lista en, en lo que ustedes, pues, se preparan. Ok. Tengo Alejandro José. Deme un segundo, no me, no me quiere cargar el documento. Uh, ¿Me escuchan todos? Yes, sí, yes. Ah, ok. Yes, sí, yes. Ok. Ups, sorry. So, voy a pasar lista al final porque no me quiere cargar el documento. Ok, so, we're going to start by having this activity, ok? So, then you will discover what the topic will be all about for tonight. Okay, you know that there's a... Do you know the ABC in English? Yes, I see. Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, I can. What letter is this? A. B. 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 C. C. D. 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 E. D. E. F. G, G, H, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, N, O, 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 E, Q, R, S, E, U, V, W, W, A, Y, Y, Z. Okay, so you learned the, the alphabet quite well. Okay, and you, do you know the name of the name of this game? That's, that's the hangman, right? In English. So it's very common and it's very a very a very old game, but you know it's it's really nice because tonight we're going to study uh, a little bit about giving uh, some dates. Okay, so we're gonna start by seeing the, the days of the week. You know the days of the week? Do you know the days of the week? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which, which are them? Today. Monday? Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. 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 Sunday. 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 Very good. Now. Over here, we need to discover one of those days. Give me one letter. P. You say P? P? No. Say D. D, D, D. Okay. Wednesday. 
Wednesday, Wednesday, so no, W? No, 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 no. Sunday. Okay. Okay. So, you say S? S. Oops, be careful. U? W, W. N. U? No, W. N. 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 Yes, that's okay. Oh, because it's M Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. M. M. All right. A. Oh, 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 oh
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, uh tell me tell me the, the months the months of the year people January 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 February February March March April April May May, May. June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, 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 November, 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 December. It's simple like that. Like the months of the year, it seems very simple, but it's very important. Then we have ordinal number up to the thirty first. So. We're going to mention some of them, not all of them, because otherwise we're not going to have any practice. This one? First. 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 This one? Second. Second. This one? Third. 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 Now, Third. over here. Over here. Now, this Third. one. First. Give me a First. second, please. Second. 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 And number three, give me a second, please. Third. 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 The TH, oh. you need to pronounce the TH sound. Fourth. 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 Fifth. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Sixth. 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 Seventh. 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 Eighth. 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 Tenth. Thirteenth, seventeenth, twentieth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty seventh, thirtieth. 30th, 30th, 31st, 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 okay, so that's, that's fantastic, so over here the guy is going to tell us to provide like uh, some information about your birthday, okay, so how, what is the question to ask for a, for birthday? When is your birthday? Hey, when is your birthday? That's a question, right? So then you may say, my birthday is on April the 5th. Or, as you can see here, this is very simple, right? You include information related to your birthday by having. By having what? The question, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April the 5th. When is the Independence Day? The Independence Day is on September the 15th. Okay, and in that way, we can uh, say the date in English. Now, one question for you. Question for you, people. When is your birthday? Now, notice that when you say your birthday, you need to say it's on. You see on, you say April, you say the month, and you say the date. So that's very important. My birthday is on. My birthday is on, they say the date, the exact date. Now, I will ask questions to you in the chat. I know not in the chat, but I will see the list. Now, Jenny, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on June 30th. June the 30th. Fantastic. Sara, when is your birthday? That is uh, Saira, I'm sorry. Saira, when is your birthday? Okay, okay. My birthday is August. 
is on August. When exactly, Saira? Mm, my birthday is. My birthday. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, tell me, please. My birthday is. My birthday. Is my on... birthday is on mm -hmm. August. August, all right. August 15th. At the 15th. All right, very good. So that's the way it is, right? My birthday is on August the 15th. Great. My birthday is on, no, pardon, pardon. My birthday is on August 15. Excellent, very good. Ana Garcia, when's your birthday? Um, my birthday is on August 15. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Roxana, what about you? When's your birthday? My, be my birthday is on November 21st. November the 21st. Excellent. Carlos David, when is your birthday? Hi, my birthday is on uh, October October 18th. October 18th. 18th. It's on yes. October the 18th. All right. Very good. Eva, when is your birthday, Eva? Uh, my birthday is on September 17th. Se September 17th. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilter, when's your birthday? My birthday is on December 7th. December the 7th. Good. Jancy, what about you? My my birthday is on September. It's a, um, on September 13th. September the 13th. All right. Now we're going to see some questions here. Okay. When's the New Year's, people? When's the New Year's Day? Uh, first. Uh, on January 1st. Uh, it's the New Year's Day is on January the 1st. When is Valentine's Day? Um, February. On February 14th. February 14th. So you see, it's on February 14th. February 14th. Yeah, when is the Independence Day? Independence Day is September 15th. All right, and when's Christmas? Christmas is December 25th. December 25th. December the 25th. 25th. It's the 25th. Excellent. So, you know, we got we got the first part, right? The first part about. Oh, sorry, I stopped sharing, but I will I will continue with it. Okay. Example: New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, and, and you see, we can continue with it, right? So, but the information is quite good, okay? But we need to move on, and oh, you see. Oh, here we're gonna tonight. Also, we are gonna be in church of creating. Okay, how to ask and how to answer just no question by using be going to. Okay, so that's the second objective for tonight's act, tonight's class. And in order to see that, we're gonna see we're gonna listen to a conversation <clears throat> in order to see what's going on with the future with going to. We're going to see it and pay attention because you are going to put it into practice. Here we go. And a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice. You'll 
practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Listen and repeat, please. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to celebrate my birthday? Listen to the name. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. 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 Okay, listen. When is your birthday exactly? When is your birthday exactly? When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th. It's August 9th. It's August 9th. Sunday. Sunday. Listen, listen, listen. So are your plans? So what are your plans? So, what are your plans? So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. My Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, so now you have some vocabulary over here that you are going to put it into practice later. And then we're going to see like the grammar about how to ask questions with be going to. With be going to, we are going to talk about plans. Okay, and we are going to learn the like like the the structure to create these sentences actually this guy is going to uh is going to provide like the like the explanation let us listen to him we use be going to to talk about future events let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events we can follow this uh -huh. question when do we use be going to. Cuando utilizamos be going to. Para expresar el futuro. To el express futuro. future, right? To express future. Okay? So, and listen. Over here, the guy is going to explain like the positive statements and questions. Here we go. This formula to express the future would be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted by the way in order to illustrate these examples I will do it without contractions I is the subject next we have the verb to be and after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb celebrate finally we add my birthday Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the going auxiliary. To. Going to. Then the verb then we celebrate. The verb invite. The invite in this case. Finally, we add a compliment. A compliment. All my friends. All my friends. 
Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with no going to questions with it. To Pay do attention. that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb be at the beginning. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus, plus the verb, verb complement. plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. Yes, no so questions. So to answer them, people. it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, <coughs> she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Ok, there's a question there. Hay una pregunta por ahí. Ok, Gabriela asked that question. Ok, so be going to and will have our expression to talk about future. Ok, but there are certain differences that you are going to study later. Ok. En, eh, luego van a, van a hacer comparativo con going to y will, cuáles son sus diferencias, pero por el momento quedémonos solo con going to, ¿ok? Going to para hacer planes, ¿ok? Going to para hacer planes. Ya luego, pues, hablaremos un poquito acerca de will, que también se usa para el futuro, pero hay ciertas diferencias que hay que aprender, ¿ok? De momento, quedémonos con, con be going to. Here we go. The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a complement to. <coughs> And a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so what's your plan for the weekend, people? What are your plans for the weekend? You can say, I'm going to go to church. I'm going to play soccer. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. What are your plans for the weekend? ¿Cuáles son sus planes para el fin de semana? I am going to play soccer on Sunday. All right. Somebody I'm else? Going, I'm going to go to the church on Sunday on the morning, in the morning. Okay, I'm going to go to church on Sunday morning. Good. What else? Anybody else? Meet a friend. Ah, so they say I'm going to meet, I'm going to, I'm going to meet a friend. What else? I'm going to go to the work on Sunday, no, um, Saturday, and Sunday I'm going to see the picture. Excellent. So I'm going to in the activity. Anybody else? Yes, I'm going to study. I'm going to study English, of course, right? <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Thank of you. Course. <laughs> of course, of right? Course. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Anybody else? I'm going to work. Are you going to work? On Sunday. On Sunday? Yes. Uh, how difficult is that, right? Yes. <laughs> to work on Sunday. Excellent. So you see, I can see that uh, Bitcoin too is not a, a difficult structure, right? Now, we have like some people over here. We have Michael. Let me see. Yeah, Mike. So that's Michelle, right? Michelle. Kevin, Robert, and Jane. We're going to listen to some information about them. You're going to tell me what's the what's the best option for uh, completing the exercise. For example, in the number one says, Michelle is going to, and then you are going to listen to the audio and tell me the correct answer. She's going to the gym. She's going to go to the, oh, she's going to celebrate a birthday. She's going to meet a friend or she's going to go shopping. Then we have Kevin with the same info, not the, no, not the same info, but with the same um, exercise, a similar exercise. We have that maybe he's going to play video games. He's going to listen to music. He's going to go dancing or he's going to go for a walk. Then we have Robert, then we have Jane. So pay attention because you're going to provide information you hear about it. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. All right. So we got it, right? I think it is not that difficult. But let me see. We're going to listen and one by one, then you will tell me. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. Uh -huh. what, is, what is Michelle going to do? Meet a friend. Absolutely. Provide complete sentences, right? So you say, she is going to meet a friend. A friend. Okay, she's going to, she's going to meet a friend. To meet a friend. Now we're going to listen to information about Kevin. We're going to run together in the park. But that's Michelle, right? So, but let's go over the information. And about what's Kevin. your name, Kevin? Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Uh, what can you tell me about Kevin? Kevin is video games. Okay, Kevin is going to play video, video games. games. Play video games. Listen to the information about games. Robert. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Okay. Yes. <laughs> My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. 
I have all my work right here in my briefcase. All right. What is he going to do? He's Robert Robert is going to work, work at home. At home. Uh, Robert is going to work at home. Robert is going to work at home. And now Jane. I think Jane is the last one. Yes. Let's go over the information about Jane. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. All right. So what is Jane going to do? James is going to listen to music. Uh, she's going to listen to music. Yes. yes. Let's see the information. Now, remember, you can work in the platform, okay, while uh, we are in the class, or you can do it later. But the, the, the important here is that you can complete all the activities. Okay, so Michelle is going to meet a friend. Kevin is going to play video games. Uh, Robert is going to work at home. And Jean is going to listen to music. All right. So this is actually quite important to, to put into practice what we saw in the previous video, right? So over here, we're going to listen to the reduction of going to. The topic that's coming now is about the, the how to pronounce the going to structure going to structure when talking in a very natural um, way. Okay, so listen to, to this. Here we go. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Okay, when speaking, what did he say? When speaking, when speaking, what did he say? When speaking, uh, going, going to, to, going uh -huh. to. When speaking naturally, right? You're gonna listen to going to us. How people? Listen once again, please. Listen once again. Listen, listen. It's usually going to sound as gonna. Aha. Uh -huh. How is it gonna sound? Gonna. Gonna, gonna. right? Gonna. And then we have some example here. Pay attention. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you gonna have a party? Gonna have, gonna, gonna no, have. I'm gonna go out with a friend. Gonna go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Going to go to yes. a restaurant? We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. We're going to go to As the I Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class. All right. So let us practice a little bit. Now, how do you read this part, people? A. A. Are you? No. Um, you going to have a party? Now, can you, can you read it quickly? Are you going to have a party? Are you gonna have are a you party? Gonna, are you gonna have a party? party? Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna Are you gonna have a party? Are you going to have a party? All right, now let's try to let's try to pronounce it like in the in the reduction form. Are you gonna have a party? 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 All right. What about this one? No, I'm, 
I'm gonna I'm go out gonna, with a friend. I'm going to go no, I'm, I'm going go out with a friend. I'm gonna go out with a friend. No, I'm, no, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out I'm with a friend. Gonna go, I'm gonna go no, out with a friend. I'm gonna go out with a friend. Good. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's cafe. Yes, yeah. we're going to go to my cafe. Excellent, pretty good. Now, actually, well, for, for tomorrow, you are going to have a couple of homework, okay? The first homework is for you to learn the months of the of the year and the, and, um, the ordinal numbers to say the dates in English, okay? Uh, para el día de mañana de tarea, se recuerdan por favor que voy a, voy a revisar que hayan aprendido los meses del año, los números ordinales, ok, para dar la, las fechas exactas. And, um, quiero que practiquen la conversación que vimos ahora. Ok, so pronunciation about, about it. Okay, so I don't know if you have any question about the topic we have studied so far. We're gonna try to finish with it, right? Uh, well, I will checklist the attendance and then you you provide some some feedback about what you about the way you felt in the first class, okay? <laughs> Ok, ahora sí creo que tenemos el listado. Ayúdenme por favor. Y luego vamos a tratar de ir cerrando con nuestra primera sesión. Ok. Abigail Elizabeth. I am here. Excellent. Ana Maria. I'm here. Present teacher. Okay, I have two Ana Marias here. Tengo Ana Maria Emily, right? Sí. Yes. And Ana Maria Garcia. Yes. Excellent. Carlos David. Daniela Alejandra. I am here. Diana Saraí. Emma Débora. Present. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisette. Present. Jacqueline Jeanette. Present. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Carla Olivia. <laughs> I'm here. Melissa Giselle. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Rosa Elizabeth. I'm here. Rosa Feliciana. Present teacher. Roxana Janira. Present teacher. Ruth Noemi. Present. Zaira Abigail. Sara, Sara, Vanessa, Silvia, Noemi, present teacher, Stephanie, Carolina, uh, that's Swanny, right? Hey, this is a very beautiful name, Swanny, uh, Maris, Maris, Laces, Swanny. Uh, Wilder, 
Hi, present teacher. Okay, William Vladimir. William Alfredo. Jancy Stephanie. I'm here, teacher. And Jenny Guadalupe. Present teacher. Great. Now you are, let me see, there's somebody in the chat. Gabriela say, okay, okay. Okay, and Melissa is over here also. Well, I have like 23 people and you are 28. So five people missed today. Hope tomorrow I will see you everybody. William, okay, William, I got, I got it. I got it. Okay, how was it? Okay. ¿Qué tal estuvo esta noche? Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Nice. Excellent. Very good. So, por ratitos como que corremos, nice. pero es, es, es por, por optimizar tiempo. Acuérdense que solo tenemos 60 minutos. Pero esos 60 minutos, déjenme decirles que no es como la barrera para nosotros dejar de aprender. Ustedes pueden seguir aprendiendo en casa en algún momento que ustedes lo decidan, ¿verdad? Eh, de esa manera, pues, um, yo siempre les aconsejo a los participantes que puedan invertir, pues, por lo menos unos 15 minutos, 20 minutos al día aprendiendo algo nuevo. Eso les va a ayudar mucho, les va a ayudar significativamente y este por favor no olvidar trabajar en la plataforma sumamente importante eh, bueno tienen prácticamente una tarea que es aprenderse los, los meses del año eh, los días de la semana eh, los números ordinales y aparte de eso, pues, bueno, la conversación hay que practicarla, pero necesito que el día de mañana, esto sí es, es como más directo a al, al, los ejercicios y al tema que estudiamos hoy, que nos, que nos platiquen qué es lo que han planeado hacer o qué planean hacer para su cumpleaños. Si ya pasó y te dice, no, te acabo de cumplir hasta el otro año. Ok, empecemos a planificar desde ahora. Ok, para, el, para eh, por lo menos unas tres oraciones, ¿verdad? Tres oraciones de qué es lo que ustedes planean hacer. Tres, cuatro oraciones, estaría bien. Eh, para okay, que practiquemos un poquito. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece? Ok. Ok. Yeah. Ha, ha sido un placer yeah. conocerles. Y yeah. espero verles mañana. Ajá. Eh, vamos a tener algún número de contacto directo con usted para poder, si tenemos alguna duda o algo, mandarle algún mensaje. Seguro, yo estoy incluido en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, cuando ustedes escriben al WhatsApp, yo directamente lo veo. Y ya les escribo así como, como aparte, digamos, dependiendo la, la pregunta o la inquietud, pues yo la respondo ya sea individualmente o en, o en el grupo en general. Bien. Ok, Gracias. Roxana. Ok. Gracias. No more questions. Let us see tomorrow. Ok, nos vemos mañana. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ok, bye. Hola, Ana. <laughs> Hola. Hola, solo, solo nosotros dos estamos del grupo anterior, ¿verdad? Sí, solo nosotros. Bye, mire. Bye. Pero aquí seguimos. Qué bueno que nos llamaron. Sí, qué bueno. Yo creo los otros se integraron en otros horarios. A lo mejor. Sí. Bueno, qué bien. Porque más de un mes casi esperando. ¿Quién? Nosotros más de un mes ah, esperando. Sí, ajá, mucho, uh -huh. mucho esperando. Sí, pero, pero igual, mi horario de trabajo no me lo permite que sea temprano. Y otro, otro horario a mí tampoco. Así ah. vamos a tener que esperar aunque vayamos lento. Sí, de <risa> todos modos. Sí. Así nos bueno, va a tocar. Sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, pues Así mucho gusto. Me gusta de verla. Gracias, igualmente. Uh -huh. Mire. Igual.
Igualmente, feliz noche. Feliz noche.